still speaks to men and women today. Listen to this person's fantastic story as they tell in detail what God did for them. This is The Supernatural. So in September of 2011, my wife and I had moved to Comanche to assist um, an uncle of mine that was pastoring a church there. We had moved there to, uh, to take a job and after we got there things just kind of fell apart. And um, But we were working in the church and uh, but we had felt things were kind of shifting and so out of the blue I got a phone call from Brother Ashcraft. I had never spoken to him before but he called my father-in-law and uh, felt that he needed to reach out to, to us and my father-in-law gave him my number. So we began to talk when he called me. I was driving home and I pulled over on the side of the road and he asked if he could just pray with me. And so we began to pray and after a few minutes, um, he had told me that he had a word uh, from the Lord for myself and my wife, but he wanted uh, first, he, he, he asked me about some scars that I had on my stomach. And I had, I had gone through a, a surgery, uh, a corrective surgery for an ulcer that I had, and I was having some complications from that surgery that I had been dealing with for about an hour. And so as we began to pray, he told me that he felt the Lord was going to heal me and that I'd feel an angel of the Lord in the car with me. And all of a sudden, it was like the heat in the car just turned on, and I just felt this warmth cover my entire body. And from that moment, I've never dealt with any of the complications or the issues that I'd been dealing with at that time. So afterwards, he he instructed me that my wife and I were going to move to San Angelo. And uh, of course, at the time, we were really struggling um, financially. And I just told him I didn't really have the money to move my family. And so he asked me about how much I thought that I would need to move my family. And I just a wild number out there and guess probably $1,500 and he told me within a week that a man would give me $1,500 and I was to move my family. Four days later a man walked up to me wasn't really sure why the Lord had laid it on his heart to do so but he just told me he wanted to bless us. We opened the envelope up and there was $1,500 in there. So a month later we packed up our house we moved to San Angelo um, did not have a job lined up, didn't even have a house lined up, um, but we were just praying for some direction. Brother Ashcraft called me after we'd been here a few weeks and told me that a man in the church was going to connect me with the company, that it would be a sales position. When I interviewed for the position, I know it would be the right job because they would tell me the position had been open for a while and they were just trying to fill it with the right individual. So I went in. <clears throat> Uh, a couple services later went to church and one of the gentlemen in the church approached me and asked me if I'd been able to find work yet. And of course I told him I was still looking and so he told me that his company was hiring uh, to uh, for people that would install phone lines uh, and high-speed internet systems and asked me if I would be interested and of course I just needed a job so I agreed to interview for the position and uh, when I went in for the interview and interviewed with the, the technical team about halfway through the interview the gentleman that I was interviewing with uh, stopped the interview and told me that uh, told me that uh, that uh, he felt I'd be a better fit for their sales team than their technical team, and asked me to sit in the room. He left the room and went and got a sales manager, and uh, the sales manager came into the room, interviewed me after about five minutes, offered me a job on the spot, and. Um, I asked him about the position, why they were hiring for it, how long it had been available. Uh, and his exact words were that uh, the position had been open for some time, but they were just trying to fill it with the right person. And so without hesitation, I accepted the position. Um, seven years later, eight years later, we're pastoring the church in Robert Lee, and the Lord just continues to do great things in our ministry. We love Brother and Sister Ashcraft, and we appreciate all that they allow the Lord just to work for them and the blessings that they are to the churches. And we just believe God's going to do great things in the days to come.